Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name's Ben and I'm from CMS and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Q300M Mini from Sunrise Medical. Um, for those of you who don't know or are, do know the industry, uh, this is the replacement for the uh, Southset M2 Mini. Um, so um, yeah, we're going to be talking about um, pros and cons of the, uh, of the update and also general tech specs. Um, I won't be going into too much detail um, about the overall chair, uh, purely because it'll, the, the video will go on for absolutely forever. Um, but if you did want um, further information, or if I didn't cover, cover anything, in, anything in this video, um, then please uh, feel free uh, to leave a comment or uh, send me a private message in one of the links below. So, um, first off, um, we'll talk about pros, we'll keep it positive to begin with. Um, um, uh, the, the, the biggest thing uh, visually and what people will, um, will, will notice straight away is um, the seating. Um, so both um, the styling and also um, the options. What you will know if you are familiar with the, um, the rest of the Q-Range series is um, they, this is the Sodeo seating. This is the Sodeo light seating, so not the Pro or the Ergo that you would see on the 500 and 700 series um, of chairs, but, um, but actually very similar to what you'd receive on or, or see on the Q400M um, series. Um, the Sodeo light, basically what they mean by that is that, that there are um, there is still a very capable seating system, but it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit um, simpler and um, and more restrictive in terms of options. Um, the um, the main reason, uh, which is actually kind of, it will be one of the negative points that I bring up at later, is the fact that um, that you can't have the pro um, seating on there um, purely because of its overall weight. Um, uh, it was it was making the chair far too heavy, and also um, it was uh, the, the chair wouldn't perform with the pro seating on it. Um, so I think they had a, they had a few issues with that. So um, so the light seating it is um, still um, still a very good system and far better um, far better than what they had beforehand. Um, uh, if you didn't know, there was some adjustment and there uh, was uh, the ability to change um, items on the old Southset M2 seating, um, but it was, it, it was difficult. Everything was a challenge, everything was a bit complicated, a bit clunky, um, uh, and, uh, and, a bit, and a bit stiff, nothing, nothing was very flexible at all. Uh, and so for someone, um, especially for a lot of my clients, who um, have these chairs for a considerable amount of time, uh, condition changes, um, situations change, and uh, and general preferences change. So it's really important that they that you that you have a chair and you have a seating system that can grow with you. And that's why um, the Sedea seating um, I really like, and I'm really pleased that they have brought it onto the uh, onto the uh, onto the mini series as well. Um, next up, um, next up is the. Um, is the overall performance of the chair. Now the performance of the chair has increased massively. Um, it was it was already quite a good, well, quite a high performing chair um, considering it was uh, predominantly sold as an indoor chair. That's the whole point. The Mini it was very compact, very narrow, um, and very easy to um, uh, get in and around in and around the home. But outdoor performance was still really good. Um, and the, the, the caster design, the cost of design, the, the axles, and how how uh, the sort of the spider track worked um, was always really effective. And what's really nice is that they've they have kept that from the old chess. The actual chassis itself is actually very similar. Um, what they have done, what they've done to increase the performance though, is they've in, included uh, or or offered um, several di different options. Um, they are they are higher torque and high high powered motors, um, larger uh, tire options. And also larger battery options. So, um, so with the tires, with the tires, they are offering a 12, a 13, and a 14 inch tire. And the 14 inch tire is actually from the Q700 series of chairs, um, meaning meaning that they're, they're big, chunky tires, um, and that allows the chair, uh, coupled with 
um, a higher torque either whether it's, a, whether it's the four pole or the higher speed two pole motor um, to, to tackle some serious off-road terrain um, and uh, has some fantastic curb climbing capabilities too. We're talking about a 100mm curb that it can tackle with the 14 inch uh, drive wheels which is, um, which is very very impressive for such a small chassis. Um, the other, the other um, issue if there was going to be with the Souser M2 Mini was the, uh, was the overall range. Now um, they have now introduced, so they have the 41 amp hour batteries basically similar um, uh, to or, or the same as um, the Souser M2 Mini um, but they've now also introduced a 56 amp hour battery um, which gives you a range of 22 miles. Um, take that with a pinch of salt. Um, as we all know, um, real world testing, loads of variables, um, the likelihood of you being able to do exactly 22 miles is fairly slim. Um, but still really, really good stats, really good, um, really good performing uh, performance uh, figures as well. So yeah, so massive, massive, massive pluses um, and, uh, and, and kind of means that it's, it's it's far more of a crossover than just an indoor power chair. So, so very, so a very multi-purpose capable chair. Um, uh, and then, uh, lastly, in terms of positive, is, is the Starling. Um, it's kind of been brought up, brought into this century now. Um, it, it was they managed to they obviously managed to have the um, you had you had the color options in terms of the shroud, the overall shroud. But apart from that. Um, coupled with um, the, the, the seating and the look of it, it was it was just it was just dated. So it's really nice uh, now. Again, they've brought it in with the uh, with the key range um, and and the Sedeo uh, with the Sedeo seating. Um, so so bringing all of those um, positive aesthetic features um, that we've seen in the chairs and now got it onto the mini. Um, you have the um, they have had the ability, um, they've given you the ability, sorry, um, to uh, change the accent colours, which again, anyone who's ordered or, or looked at um, the order forms on the other key range, um, the accents are basically, it's all black. The, sh the, the actual frame and the, the um, shroud colours are black, but then you can pick accent colours, so, so highlights around the, the wheel rim and the uh, the top of the uh, sort of the caster fork as well, um, so so just giving a little bit of individuality. What's nice about the Q300M is because they've kept the same chassis as beforehand, um, you can actually change the colour of the chassis, um, uh, the chassis shrouds, um, and also the accent colours. So you can mix and match if you wanted to. So it's quite nice, something something a little bit different, um, but, uh, but yeah, really really good. Um, Something, sorry, very quickly um, on terms of positives on the performance and pricing. Um, it, it was always quite, it was always quite important that when you went for sort of a higher performing spec um, that you'd build in, you'd also get the gyro. But with the gyro you and the larger motors, you'd also have the get lasting indicators. When you couple all of those, uh, all those, those three items together, as well as um, uh, the higher amp, power, uh, higher amp. Um, uh, on it controller, um, it, it is quite a, it's quite a considerable price increase. What they've what they've done um, with the new 300M Mini is that they've they've included a performance pack which actually includes all of those items in one set fee. Um, I think off the top of my head, it's it's saving you about a thousand pounds. I think it's about that. Maybe don't quote me, but I will check on that. Um, but yeah, it, but really really good. Um, really, really good idea, and I definitely think it's something that they should probably bring um, um, and move across the whole range of chairs. I think it's quite a nice thing um, to to add and and be able to select. Um, so yeah, um, they're the price. They're the price. Um, cons, negatives. Um, now um, I do sell these chairs. I do sell these chairs as, as well as as many others, but um, uh, uh, so um, but it's always it's always important for me that I am offering a very a very honest and upfront opinion on the chair and the product, um, and so and so here we go. So here we go. Um, 
I've already touched on the Sodeo Pro um, seating not being compatible. Um, the Sodeo Lite, like I said, is, is, is a good system, but the, the Pro is naturally better. Um, what, uh, and, and so that, that, is a neg that is a negative purely because they're offering such a capable chair performance-wise, it's just a little bit of a shame that they can't bring the, the, the Pro and that superior seating um, onto, onto this chassis. The, the, the most important one actually uh, was the, um, the active contour adjustable backrest. So you'll see on this one, you've got the active contour uh, backrest, but for anyone that needs um, superior sort of natural support, um, being able to adjust those wings uh, and, uh, and tighten and, and shape as well as having the tension adjustable backrest is such a lovely tool to have um, when you are positioning someone in the chair. Um, and, um, um, and it's a shame on the launch that they didn't have that. I have now been told, which is good, that they are going to be um, introducing that, um, that backrest onto, um, onto the Q300. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's a, that's a negative and a positive, I suppose. Um, next, um, again, this is probably going to be niggly, but um, one thing that's always sort of bugged me, and there isn't really a way around it apart from having um, individual leg rests, is that you can't have larger foot plates. Um, or a large foot plate, they have to be shaped almost like almost almost tapered in, um, so that you've got the complete 360 rotation of the caster wheel, um, which which is fine. It keeps it nice and neat and compact. But um, for someone um, for someone who needs who is even whether they've got bigger feet or whether they need um, their their feet slightly wider, they can't have them. Um, tucked in, but they still need something that's um, co compact, and they don't want to have big leg rest sticking out. Then it, it's kind of it's kind of important. So it's a real it's a shame, but but uh, technically understandable. But um, it was it was something that I always noticed as a bit of a flaw. Um, sometimes um, uh, the, the the feet could sort of catch the caster as it, as it's turning around. Um, so yeah, something to consider, uh, but not the end of the world. Um, this is probably, again, it, it's where it sits in the market now. So um, they've, they've increased the performance. They've increased the performance. They've got better seating on there. They've got large, large tires, the same as a Q700. They've got bigger batteries, which, um, which basically the same, if not a little bit larger than what the standard 500 um, series of chairs. Um, it has the same uh, capability, speed, and motors as uh, as some of the others in the range, which, which makes it's kind of I'd say it's kind of confusing about where that where this chair now sits. Um, you can still get. It all depends on how it's specced up. But if you are, they're, they're now they've now basically. Um, Giving you the option to build it and saying it's potentially better than the 500, which is like, okay, well, where does the 500 sit, and why would people go for the 500? There are differences and there 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 are reasons for it, but it was just, I would I'd say I'd say I'd say they've they've done a fantastic job of improving the chair, but there is a confusion about where it sits. That's all I'm. That's all. That's all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say. For, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Um, the spec I've got behind me um, to reiterate: this has actually got the 12-inch uh, tires um, with a two-pole uh, motor, um, obviously with a stereo, so they're like sitting on it. But it is a very much an indoor spec, and that was quite important because I've got chairs that are capable outdoors and off-road. Um, and um, and are more suited to do so. Um, um, so yeah, so it's important that that my particular chair um, was a predominantly indoor sec because that's what I'll be promoting it as. Um, but it's nice knowing that if 
need be and if it's something that if it's something a client requires um, then it can have that um, outdoor capability as well um, the la the last the last thing um, probably on terms of negatives is that um, you have you have on seat widths you have 15 to 20 and on seat depths you have from 16 um, to 22 um, uh, inches in seat depth um, options. The problem is if you wanted to have a 22 inch seat depth um, the actual seat plate is a lot shallower which means that the cushion kind of overhangs the seat plate um, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me um, but again I have been on to um, the good people at Sunrise Medical and they have informed me um, that that is going to change and they are going to have a larger and deeper seat plate to fit the adjustable and the deeper um, seat depth option. So yeah, good. That's about it, I think. Um, anything else you need to know? Turn diameter is exactly the same and so the, the the radius in which it turns um, definitely one of the highest performing um, on terms of uh, compact turn. They call it a true mid wheel drive. Um, by that they mean that the wheels are um, directly centered and directly over the um, the the seat itself, which means uh, better turning circle, better traction, um, and uh, and over, overall uh, a very stable chair. Um, that's it. That's it. Um, thank you very much um, for watching. I um, hope you did like it. Um, there can be loads of videos like this. Um, so if you did like it, please like and um, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you very much. Bye bye.